Hey guys, Justin here, back again with another video. I know it's been quite a while since I did my last video because we've been working on Spider-Man Dimension Rift for like, I can say a pretty fair while now. Kind of the start of this year, we just started going at it and it's going really well. So yeah, that's probably just the reason why I haven't been uploading. And some of it's also probably because finding video ideas can be difficult sometimes and I'm sure a lot of you out there that make videos understand what I mean. Um, sometimes you can just be in a place where you don't really know what content to put out, especially if you have a large audience. It can sometimes be a little bit nerve-wracking and you don't want to disappoint your audience or anything. I hope this video today is entertaining enough for, for a while whilst we're working on the movie, but I've also done a Q&A on Instagram and I'm getting people to submit some questions about Spider-Man Dimension Rift and that'll be a video after this and your guys questions may be featured in the Spider-Man Dimension Rift Q&A and if you actually have any questions you can leave them down in the comments of this video too and your comment might just be featured anyway today's video I'm gonna be showing you guys some of my Spider-Man props so yeah I'll just show you guys some of the uh, Spider-Man props that I've got here so the first one here is one you haven't seen before which is this <laughs> Now, this is just a mask that I bought online, and I didn't like how the eyes turned out. So I tried making my own with some flywire, and they look okay. Um, but you can also see some nose holes here that I tried covering up, and the glue just went through it. And overall, I don't really think it looks that good. I feel like I probably should have just left it and not touched it. But I'll show you guys what it looks like when it's actually on me. Yeah, so this mask really isn't too amazing. Looks a little goofy to be in any of our movies. There, there's a bit of velcro on the back that you can use to tighten it up, but it doesn't work too well sometimes, it just comes off. But yeah, overall, this mask isn't really that great. It's sort of just one that's lying around with my other props, but yeah, I don't think I'm ever going to use it for any movies so yeah yeah so that's that mask okay well the next prop is one that you have seen in our movies before and it's also just very known in the other spider-man movies which is these bad boys right here Edith. Yeah, this is a really cool prop for the price that i got for them these are totally worth it they're only like ten dollars a piece and look at them they're like a movie quality got that nice shade of blue in there and um, let's just put them on. Now when I first got these, I thought they were too big for my head, and I still think they are. Um, just because I'm not an adult, so. But you know, they work well for the movie. Kind of gives a little bit of a comical feel. So I don't really think it's a big deal that they're a little bit too big for me, but um, yeah, this is Edith. I just use them for the prop, and then when I'm doing like a head swap display with them, I'll just put the effects over, and it's usually, convincing so yeah if you guys want to grab a pair of these I'll, I can just leave a link down below and yeah you can go get some for yourself Edith okay the next prop is the one that I've used in every single spider-man movie that I've done so far except for spider-man diary which I don't really think counts as a spider-man film because it nothing was really filmed there was just a few it's a footage from preliminary and it was more of like a just talking video with some little bits of artwork here and there and some text. But aside from that, these were in the other movies, the web shooters. These were also really cheap as well. The ones from Spider-Man Homecoming and they're really good quality. They just pretty much look like they're right out of the movie. And they're like a rubbery silicon material, as you can see. But you don't really take notice of that during the movie, you'd probably just think that they're hard plastic. Now they've got this velcro strap here. Yep, so I've used these in all three of my Spider-Man films. Spider-Man Stealth Mission, Preliminary and the Christmas Special and is going to be used in Dimension Rift. And yeah, they just go around like this, put them on and there you go. They're the web shooters. They look really, really cool. Pretty much straight replicas, as I said. They've got all those nice little details going around the wrist. And from from afar, they just look like they're straight out of the movie. 
and they work perfectly for our film so yeah if you guys want some of these I recommend it because these are really cool and they were really cheap too so yeah I recommend getting these if you want some Okay, so the next thing is a thing that you've also seen in one of our movies, Spider-Man Preliminary, and that is the homemade mask with the sunglasses. Now, when I was designing this suit, I've always seen a lot of people use the Spider-Man Homecoming homemade suit for their fan films, which is completely fine. I mean, the suit looks really, really cool, and I totally respect everybody that uses it. It's one of my favorite suits, personally. But when I was doing my homemade suit for Spider-Man Preliminary, I wanted to go for more of an original look. So I just got a red balaclava and some sunglasses. So this is basically what the look is. So yeah, this is basically the look. I mean, it's pretty simple, it's very simple. Um, it's just a red balaclava with some sunglasses. But I think it really works for a Spider-Man homemade suit. I feel like it's very realistic and something Peter Parker would probably do as his very first suit. Yeah, I gotta be honest, this suit here is definitely the most comfortable one that I've ever worn, simply just because the balaclava isn't as tight on my face compared to like Spider-Man masks that you actually buy, and also just because these are really easy to just slip on and off. I feel like the only sort of downside to wearing this mask is the fact that sometimes breathing through this can cause the sunglasses to fog up a little bit, but it's really not that bad. So yeah, I'll give you guys a little bit more of a close view of this mask, even though there's not really that much to look at, but I hope you guys like this suit as much as I like wearing it because it's extremely comfortable, you know, with the, uh, the, the puffer jacket over the top inspired by the Miles Morales game. And in preliminary, he takes it off halfway through the fight during the fight with Slide. So, yeah, I guess you got two looks with the one suit. Okay, this next mask is one that you've seen in all of my films so far, and that is this mask right here. And this is, you know, the standard mask for the more classic looking Spider Man suit. I actually got this mask from my iron spider suit that I bought in 2019 and this is the mask that it came with it's got these lenses here now I don't know why but for some reason this lens has always had this little bit of dirt on it and I don't know why um, yeah I, I don't know why it's there and as you can probably tell the eyes are a little bit off center and that is because when back in 2020 when we were filming the last fight for spider-man stealth mission i put the mask on one time and my dad thought that the mask was off center so we decided to take off one of the eyes and glue them back on but then it started looking like this and after putting the mask back on i just realized that the mask was never even off center to begin with it just needed a little bit of adjusting and I didn't know that before because I couldn't see myself, but at home when I tried it, that's all it needed, and now it's permanently stuck like this. And it's really hard to try and get off, so this is how it is. But I'll put it on for you guys anyway. Anyway guys, here's a better look at the mask for you. I think the mask still holds up for, you know, using it in Dimension Rift. But I think the only thing that I've never really liked about this mask is the fact that the eyes are so angled upwards. Because, you know, usually on the MCU Spider-Man masks, the eyes are usually more angled outward like this instead of up. I mean, the Sam Raimi ones are more angled upward, but, you know, I feel like with the MCU lens designs, they don't really look as good when they're angled up like these ones. I think the mask still definitely works for what we're using it for. And you know it's Spider-Man, but, you know, everything doesn't have to be 100% perfect. But anyway, I think the mask is still good. It's kind of like the main thing you see on my YouTube channel now. It's like the most iconic mask you see on my YouTube channel now. So, you know, it's something we're sticking with, and um, I think it goes well with the suit that we're using. And uh, yeah, this is the mask. And I think 
something that is also really weird about this mask is I don't know if it does pick up on this camera right now but sometimes you can actually see my eyes through the mask yeah other than that I, th I still really like this mask obviously you got this creasing and the off center in the middle but you know it doesn't really matter it's still a spider-man mask you see it's spider-man so you know I still love this mask and it's even got a zip at the back so yeah that's that mask Anyway, guys, the next mask that I'm about to show you is one that I just uploaded in a short just recently. And it is probably my favourite mask out of all the ones that I'm about to show you. And yes, there is one more that you haven't seen before, which I'm also going to show you in this video. But my favourite one out of all of these is the stealth suit one, the night monkey one, which is this. Really cool, right? But yeah, it comes with this headpiece that we customized. I think it's just like a, uh, a GoPro headpiece which we added these like fake leather details on to mimic that head strap design that's in Spider-Man Far From Home and then we, we bought these lenses which are much better than the other ones and they're actually made out of a rubbery silicon material and they even have magnets on the back of them if you want to stick them to a magnetic face shell if you want to wear it underneath. But what we did is we put a little bit of shoelace i think a shoelace in the middle and a strap at the back to go around your head and it's a three-piece mask it goes the balaclava the strap and the eyes and then it all comes together so let me show you guys this little part in the middle is going to dip underneath this section here so you're not even going to see this in the middle and that's what makes this part so effective is that it makes it look like that the eyes are separate to everything else that's actually on the mask. So that goes like this, and there you go, the three-piece mask, and it looks great. Now, one thing I'll tell you guys is that the vision through these is amazing. I can see everything. That's what I really love about the lenses with the the holes in them, is that you can see everything and it doesn't fog up. So that's a that's a plus about a lot of these masks, is that. Something that you want to try and get with these masks are ones that don't have any plastic or like glass underneath, but instead it's just the ones with the holes in them. I'll just give you guys a closer look of the details on the mask. Sometimes there can be a little hole here at the back, but no one really takes notice of that, so. But yeah, this is the stealth suit mask. It's got to be my favorite one by far just because, you know, this mask is really special to me. We used it in our very first Spider-Man fan film, Spider-Man Stealth Mission, and I also used it at the 2019 Comic-Con. Yeah, I still love the suit, and it's got to be my favorite one out of all of these. So yeah, I hope you guys like it as much as I do. But anyway, let's go on to the next mask. Yeah, so guys, this next mask is one that you haven't seen. And um, it's just one that I thought I'd buy because I felt like that this mask here needed an upgrade because of the off-center ones. And as soon as I saw this mask, it just caught my eye and I was just like, I've got to buy this mask because it just looks really, really good. It was honestly such a good buy because it basically just looks like the movie. Look at that. Look at these eyes. You can't go wrong with this thing. And obviously you want your zip at the back, which is the easiest way to get these masks on. The Velcro is okay, but these are honestly so much better. But anyway, without further ado, I'll just show you guys this mask because it is so cool. Okay guys, take a look at this thing. Isn't this just such a good looking mask? Now, a few things that I want to talk about is that the lenses, they're not like a rubbery or silicon material they're actually a hard plastic and the parts where you see through there is actually a hard see-through plastic behind the white holes area so sometimes it can get just a little tiny bit foggy but it's not nearly as bad as the sunglasses on the homemade suit but the eyes on this just look so good and they're very centered and they just look so nice on this mask. The only thing that I'm not a fan of 
are the creases on the top here and the fact that the web patterns on the top go out a little bit too far. You know, I feel like that's a very minor complaint and it's not something that I'm just going to keep nitpicking because it is a bit unnecessary to nitpick because if you just look at this at first glance, you're really not going to notice it. I might get a face shell down the track, who knows, just to maybe try and get rid of some of those creases, but for now I'm not going to worry about that because I'm just still admiring this thing. I mean, just look at it. Look at these eyes, they are insane. I am going to continue using this mask for Dimension Drift to keep the continuity. Maybe I might use it for the normal suit that I'm using down, later down the track, I don't know. For now, I'm just using this for fun and it's, you know, it's a really cool mask. I hope you guys like it as much as I do, but my favourite one still has to be the Stealth Suit mask because I just love how tactical it looks and, uh, yeah, it brings back a lot of memories for Stealth Mission and Comic-Con, so, yeah. Anyway, this is definitely my second favourite mask though. I love it. I hope you guys do too. Anyway, those are all of my Spider-Man props that I've got to show you today. Yeah, let me just take this thing off real quick. Anyway, yeah, that's about it for showing my Spider-Man stuff off today, guys. I hope you enjoyed this little video. I didn't really have it planned. I sort of just thought of it in my mind before. I hope this video entertained you guys. Just thought it'd be a fun little video to put together. Also, I'm really sorry about the background noise. They're just cicadas at this time of the day and it's getting a little bit late so yeah sorry about the background noise anyway i hope you guys liked all of those props as i said earlier in this video if you have any questions for dimension rift you can leave them down in the comments below and your question might be featured in the dimension rift q a which will be my next video guys my camera battery just died so i'm just recording on my phone real quick um <laughs> Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you want to see more stuff like this, just let me know in the comments down below and I'll be sure to make some more videos like this. But yeah, my next video will be the Q&A. But other than that, that's all from me today and um, I'll see you guys later.